The field marshal is waiting for news. I've got reports from four other teams who have successfully destroyed supply convoys. But one team still hasn't checked in. Is everything all right? I needed some time alone, to clear my head. I hate to interrupt this rare moment of calm, but an urgent matter requires your attention. Members of the Dark Council have insisted on sharing their concerns about the hidden chain. Particularly the alarming increase in violent attacks on non-Mandalorian targets. They've asked to meet as soon as possible. I don't understand what they're expecting to hear from me. They have questions about the situation, and since you've dealt with the Hidden Chain directly, the only person they will accept answers from is you. It certainly doesn't help that the increased surveillance of Shay's movements has provided nothing useful since she disappeared. Despite the considerable amount of intelligence resources spent keeping an eye on her, the trail has gone cold. Her absence during all of this has the potential to paint us in a very poor light. If the rest of the Dark Council are sniffing around, let's make sure they don't hear about Shay. I agree. And if you can put their fears to rest, perhaps they will ease their scrutiny while we find her. They're more insistent than I thought, but they can wait a moment or two. Before this discussion takes on any more severity, have you given any thought about your partnership with Shay going forward? After this... There is no more partnership. It is hard to see the value in continuing your support of her obsessions. I'm certain you know this, but it bears repeating. No matter how many times others foolishly turn their back on you, I will help shoulder the brunt of their treachery. Whatever you need, ask. I don't know what I would do without you. You would manage. But I do enjoy making things more pleasant for you. Ready to face the rest of the galaxy? Kind of you to spare us a moment of your time. Your associates were adamant that there was no way to work this discussion into your schedule. No matter how many times I reminded them of your commitment to the Dark Council. You and I share something that few others can truly understand. What it means to lead. To be the one who must make the hardest decisions. Like how to deal with assets who create more trouble than they are worth. I've dispatched a task force to monitor the activity of these hidden chain Mandalorians, as well as those who oppose them. They tread perilously close to violating Imperial jurisdiction. This troublesome little quarrel among the Mandalorians, it cannot continue. All that effort only to come to the same conclusion I presented in an extensive report about the hidden chain assault on Ord Mantell. Darth Zarian is right. This war among the Mandalorians cannot be allowed to spread further. We will end it if we must, by any means necessary. Fear is irrelevant. These Mandalorians on both sides encroach where they are not welcome. We make no allowances for anyone no matter how powerful their allies. 
The truth of the matter is, we have given those who are still loyal to Shea Vizsla ample opportunity to deal with this issue. What can you tell us about their progress? Can Mandalore guarantee an end to the war before our hand is forced? Whatever that is, certainly it can wait. I see. You must understand this is not a conversation to be left unresolved for long. Do I make myself clear? We will reconvene very soon. It's me. I think I just found a way to get Darth Maul's holocron away from Hedda. It's not that simple. I can't give you all the details over Holocon. Too many ears listening. Meet me on Meksha. When you get here, stop by the Slugfall Cantina. I'll leave you something to help find me. Tinder, another. You've had too many. Come back tomorrow. Too many? Come on! Tell you what, if you remember how many you've had, I'll let you have another. Come on! Five. I've had five. See you tomorrow.
you made it. Not that I thought you wouldn't, I'm just relieved is all. I picked up a lot of things hiding out on Osis. We had to. When you don't have a lot of parts to work with, you learn to adapt. My brother and I used to hide in here a lot. Rakan was always looking for a way out of chore time at the orphanage. I liked helping out, but I also liked going on adventures with Rakan, so... I started hiding too. I used to dream about coming back here for him. My master never knew. I didn't want him to think that I was ungrateful, or that he'd made the wrong decision. You know, taking someone who kept looking backward. But I... I think he did make the wrong decision. Maybe... If I'd said it sooner, none of this would be happening. Hedda wouldn't have the holocron. She wouldn't have Rakan. I'm trying. It doesn't matter. We're going to fix this. That holocron is dangerous. More than any of us understand, we have to get it away from Hedda. The machine that she's building, it doesn't work without Darth Null's holocron, or without the plans inside it. All we have to do is get the holocron out of there, and Hedda loses both the machine and something she never should have had in the first place. It's... um... you'll see what I mean, once we get close. The machine is on one of Hedda's most heavily guarded ships. There's only one way on it. And that's with a specially built shuttle, one they use to round up prisoners. Hedda thinks if she has something that no one else does, she can take on the whole galaxy. But she's wrong. The machine, it... I don't really understand how it works. Something reaches out, and it's like turning on a light or a forgotten childhood memory rushing back. If you ever thought you once felt the Force, no matter who you've become, an outlaw, a farmer, a soldier, you feel it again. Hedda said we could... I could help these people. Help them understand their connection to the Force. She said no one else would. She didn't say anything about making them fight in her war. Hedda will do anything to win. She doesn't understand the cost. She doesn't care. Then I guess it's a good thing I smartened up eventually. Hedda thinks this machine will just awaken powerful soldiers ready to fight for her. But the people Hedda captures, the machine revealed their connection to the Force. It doesn't make them soldiers any more than they were before. But that doesn't matter to Hedda. She wanted me to just... Even if I wanted to, I don't know how to train anyone to fight. If we don't do something, a lot of innocent people will die. We have to destroy the machine. And we have to get as many of Hedda's prisoners as we can off that ship. We can do both. I know where we can get the shuttle that we'll need. One of the hidden chain strike teams was sent to take captives from Hara. They must not have been too careful around the huts. They've run into trouble with the local crime lord and they're stranded there. It's a long shot. But if we can get to Hara and find out where that strike team ended up, we can steal their shuttle. It'll take us right to Hara's machine. I don't know all the details, other than the strike team was sent to the Minbusa district. It's probably best if we head there separately. It might raise too much suspicion otherwise. I'll see you there. close calls. I'm waiting on a lead to meet with me. Come find us in the cantina.
We have a problem. This was supposed to be simple, but it might be impossible. The Hidden Chain Strike Team assigned to Hutta have to be somewhere in this district. But, ugh, I don't know what to do. Slaves are rebelling. The Hutt in charge here locked down everything. No one's getting in or out. How do we even start looking for that shuttle? If that's how we do things, then what's the point of stopping Hedda? We'll be just like her. Let's just... Let's just go. Someone has to know where to find the shuttle. They might be able to tell us how to find that shuttle, and there has to be something we can do to help them. Get away! We're not part of the uprising! Uh, uh, tell Yasindu, we've got nothing to do with those thankless womp rats! First Mandalorians, now you? Those troublemakers are gonna get us all killed! None of this would be happening if everyone would just keep their heads down and their mouths shut. I don't know why anyone would think they could take on you, Sindhu, and his piles of credits. If we make a run for the shipping port, then maybe we could... Leave us alone! Shipping port? Be where the shuttle is. We could face any number of difficulties there. Don't get complacent.
Chandler! I want them ready to move as soon as we've got a way out of this muck pit. Don't give them any ground! Cut them down! So much for getting information out of them. And I don't see the shell. Hey! Over here! <sighs> Thank the stars you took care of those Mandos. They came in a shuttle. Do you know where it is? No. But you let me out and I'll help you search for anything. One of them has to have a security key. While I put in this security code, you can tell me about that Mandalorian shuttle. Give her a second. That's all right. But just so you know, wherever that shuttle is, you're not getting anywhere near it in this lockdown. Get all of us out of here, and we can help you work around all the security. Thank you! Move, while we still have a chance! That's everyone. Is there somewhere safe you can go? There's a pilot commissary here that the Mandos cleared out. We'll hunker down in there.
We'll put our feelers out for this shuttle you're looking for. But tracking it down could take a while. It's hell out there, We've you know. Got a few ideas Chemical burns, quicksand, Just getting gnawed around. on by wild act dogs. We don't have enough colto to treat it all. You ever heard of Tempogen? Waste from refining to Bona gas. Add a little to our colto stores and we can make them stretch. Too much fighting, too much shooting. It's stirring up the Zuva. Angry, swarming, attacking. You know what Zuva hate. Smell of chemilizards. Get chemilizard scent glands rotten. Sour, but we'll keep people safe on the roads. As if the huts haven't taken enough from us. The swamp their pipelines made is sucking down some of the last Evokai religious structures. Scan them for me, would you? Before they're lost in that muck forever. We were easy pickings for those Mandalorians. No good armor or weapons to protect ourselves. You could nab that kind of gear from the Mandos and give it to us. It'll be a win-win for everyone, except the Mandos.
Ah, nice work. I'll feel better asking folks for information about that shuttle if I've got Tempogen to trade for it. No trouble for you. Scent glands will keep Zuva away, far, gone for good. There's no Zuva. There's no news about Zuva. Now I can hear things about Mandalorian shuttle. I can't begin to tell you the importance of what you've done here, friend. The second I hear something about that shuttle you're looking for, I'll pass it along. Look at that! Mandos. Overpaid security guards. They won't stand a chance against us with this stuff. And we'll have an easier time sniffing out rumors about that shuttle you're after. Good news? We found that shuttle. Bad news? It's locked up tight in the Tabana gas refinery. I know a way in. Get into the gas tunnels and look for crates with red markings. They'll lead you right into the refinery.
need to regroup. Stars. This is horrible. Someone's in charge of all these guards. Let's find them. These slaves never learned their lesson. You Sindhu will pay me triple for this! All available units! They are not slaves! Bring reinforcements! Countess! Countess! Intruders have breached the perimeter! The Mandalorians who came here. Where is their shuttle? Belong to me! I'll have your head for leading them astray! I'm not involved with anything that's happening here. <sighs> that is not how it appears to me. If I had a hand in this uprising, you would be dead already. You wouldn't be the first hut I've put down. <sighs> Is that supposed to impress me? Intimidate me? You have yet to face a hut with the kind of resources at my disposal. <sighs> the hut cartel will not look kindly on this act of aggression. <sighs> Your Imperial friends will regret what you have done here. I will personally ensure it. They will rue the day you dare to challenge the majestic Yusindu! Who are you? No time for that. You're looking for a Mando shuttle, right? I know where to find it. How did you... Just come on. What other option do you have? Fine, move. No, wait. We can help you. I've got this. If you want to help, the best way is to get to our safe house. I'll explain more there. Get to the tunnels. I'll tell you over comms how to get there. Now go! Hurry! This is getting messier by the second. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have blown up those gas canisters. It doesn't matter now. Let's go. For this, mm, won't make much sense. We're in the tunnels. Good! You're going to end up at an intersection with four connections. Go north from there.
Once you go up the big ramp, make sure you're heading east. Did you make it to the scaffolding yet? If so, you're almost there. Am I supposed to climb down into whatever that is down there? Oh, it's fine. Uh, the best part about it, no one who works for you, Sindhu, would ever dream of getting near it. Uh, watch your step on the way down. Oh, you're here. Adi told me you were coming. He'll be here soon. Racket. We lost Treva. In the courtyard. Blast it! She was our only way into the alarm systems. I know. But I'm hoping these fine people can help us pick up the slack. Uh, quick introductions. I'm Adi. This is Racket. Pretty sure we know who you are. But uh, what do we call you? I'm... Uh... Sahar. Great. Well, you probably noticed, but we're trying to get a lot of people out from under the tail of Yusindu, our esteemed employer. You also probably noticed it's not going well. That I did. Words getting around. Some of our people back in town said that you were looking for a Mando shuttle? As fate would have it. You're after the same thing we are, uh, more or less. The shuttle is in the refinery's hangar, the same place we're trying to get into. We've spent months working out a way to break in, but after that explosion, we're short a lot of the people we needed to make this work. You help us see this through, and we'll all get into that hangar, right to that Mando shuttle you're looking for. I promise the only way we're getting in there is if we work together. Yusindu locked everything down once he realized we were fighting our way out. Like clockwork. When Mandalorians showed up, we thought that was the end. Turns out they had nothing to do with Yusindu. He locked up the Mando shuttle, uh, the one you're after, in the refinery hangar, along with every ship, speeder, and cargo loader in the district. There are enough shuttles in there to get all of us out of here. Off Hutta. To freedom. We just need to get into that hangar. You will. We'll help you. Right? If it helps, what we need to be done should be very simple for the two of you. The same can't be said if you decide to take on Yusindu and his infinite number of goons on your own. We need to get them out of the way. We also need to make sure our people can defend themselves against any surprises that might be waiting in the hangar. We've tried this enough times to have worked out all the kinks. If we're going to hit Yusindu where it hurts, we need weapons, explosives, ways to take out his fancy guards. We really only need enough to clear a safe path to the shuttles. We know exactly what needs to be done. We just need the bodies to do it. And we need to help them stay alive in the process. We've got everything broken down over here. Uh, give it a look, w when you're ready to get started. a good start. Just need to reroute a few more pipelines.
This is a lot of Tabana gas we're rerouting, right? It sure is. And we're not done yet. modulate the broadcast signal to sound like it's the guard captain's voice. But one of you has to actually say the words. Uh, any volunteers? I'll do it. if we're going to blow up the whole refinery on our way out of here. What?
Ricky. I know it is. But we need to hit Yusinda where it hurts most. In his bank account. Our people can just as easily be caught in the crossfire of all of this. Fine. But just remember, this could have helped everybody who is too scared to fight with us. Only the maintenance droids can purge the Tabana gas from the pipelines. Look for a maintenance terminal that'll let you slice into one. Got the droid? Activate the pipeline scrubbers. They'll dump all the Tabana gas to waste collection. Watch out for you, Sindhu's guards. This is outside the scheduled maintenance window. We'll know something's up. Someone headed to waste collection to pick up the Tabana gas.
We're ready. We've never been so ready. If we don't move now, we're never going to get another shot like this. Oh, there is one more thing. Sahar, can you take a look at the encryption tokens on our comm frequencies? We can't risk you Sindhu's people slicing into our chatter. I get the feeling you know a thing or two about the subject. Oh, of course. I'll be right back. This has all been hard on her. Every thought in her head is darkened by our struggle. And the struggles of another. But helping people seems to mend her broken resolve a bit. Everything you've done so far will slow down Yusindu's reinforcements. But it won't last forever. If we're gonna pull this off before the slug's backup can get past our defenses, we'll need to split up for the last phase of the plan. That means you're on your own. Can you handle that? Could you at least pretend to give a damn? If we mess up, all you lose is some Mando shuttle. Our entire future is tied up in this. Adi's going to get the hangar's freight elevator up and running. That'll get enough people inside to overwhelm the security teams that are already there. Which means more people on those shuttles, and more people out of this swamp. I'll be running point on the turret defenses, making sure those are shut down before we get into the hangar. You, my friend, have the most important job of all. Even when we control the hangar, our window of time to get out of there is too short. We can't manually input destination coordinates into every shuttle. If you get into the control tower, you can transmit destination codes to everyone all at once. I'll send the coordinates once we're on the move. I've done repairs on the control tower's console before. It can be a little finicky. Let me walk you through how to make it work if you run into any problems. While you two do that... I'll go check on Sahar. Here. Do not tell Adi I gave you this. I don't like it either, but I have to do this. Just put these coordinates into the control tower console when it's time. The shuttle coordinates Adi's going to send you, they go to Rhodia. He thinks we'll all be safe there, but the huts took him when he was a kid. He hasn't been back since. We won't know anybody. We'll have nothing. It won't be home. The coordinates I gave you will take us to an Evakai rebel camp. On Hudda. I've already made contact with them. They're willing to take us in. If we pull our weight. I don't just want my freedom, or I would run like Adi wants. I want my home back. Looks like everyone knows what they've got to do. Ready? Time to go.
We're throwing everything we've got at them, but the guards just keep coming! Get this door open, now! We're trying, it's we can't hard. bypass these locked what is it? I don't care! You Blow it open if you have to! Snake. this door? I've got it. Incoming. Got a problem here. There's a safety protocol that keeps overriding all of my attempts at overloading the turrets. Same here. Every time I slice past the lockdown operation, I get a warning that the elevator can't run until the emergency systems have been turned off. Are you kidding me? When did you send to install safety features? I don't know, but if I don't figure this out soon, a whole lot of people aren't getting out of here with us. And if that rotten slug gets wind of what we're doing before I knock out these turrets, we're all going to have a bad time. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. We don't have time to reach both of them. Good. Hurry! All right. You two get those guns offline. We will. We've got this, Adi. I know you do. I'll keep at this elevator. I've never seen anything like this safety protocol. There's gotta be a guard around who has the security code cylinder to turn it off. I'll find one.
Racket, I have the security code cylinder. Find a security junction. You can upload the code remotely to me. That's it. Security code uploaded. Racket? Just a few more seconds. This is it? This is... everyone! We need to move, Adi. Right. Let's get out of here. Wait! Maybe we could still fix the freight elevator. Give everyone down below a fighting chance. We have to go. Now. Or none of this will have mattered. What's the plan once we're aboard? How do we find the Holocron? Seconds matter now. I need you to tell me what comes next. I know. I know what I need to do, just... After all that, so many were left behind. What if they never find each other again? Why didn't you send them somewhere safe? You took away their chance to be free. It doesn't matter. They wouldn't have been any better off on Rhodia. You don't know that. I need to know the plans are. The system's access room is right next to the shuttle bay. We need to get to it fast. I have the codes to shut off alarms, 
comms, area restrictions, anything that could slow us down, and anything that can keep Hedda from sending the rest of her fleet after us. If you fail, you risk ruining everything. There's no room for mistakes, Sahar. If you do this, word will get back to Hetta, and your brother. They'll know it was you. I... I know. Come on. Don't let them call for reinforcements! Nowhere here now. We can shut off the alarms and systems access. Go! What's happening? My security code stopped working. Come on, into the maintenance shaft. I can slice the comm channels from there. I released the locks on every door on this ship. If they haven't noticed something's wrong by now... Then we need to move! Not until I shut down their comm channels. takes care of the alarms.
It's her! Stay away from us! No! I'm not going to hurt you! I said leave us alone! We need to get them back to the shuttle! Why should we trust you? No! They can't... Hetta Cole built this, not just her. If I hadn't... This ends right now. We shut it all down. And without the Holocron, Hetta can't do this again.
No! Rakan! Enough! Don't you dare speak! Disgusting, worthless filth! I see what you are. You tricked Hedda. Blinded her with your Jedi sorcery. Turned her away from me. Now you betray her! You betray me! This is why you came back. Why you couldn't stay away. There was still something left to take from me. What did I take from you? Everything! I gave you everything. I turned my back on my friends, on my home, to find you. To fix a mistake that someone else made. I taught you what no one else would. I went against everything I believe in to follow your field marshal. I'm done, Rakan. Hedda's not going to hurt anyone else. We're taking the holocron. You said everything there is to say. Let's finish this. Go. Now. Rakan, you're going to die if you keep listening to Hedda. And for what? Will she even notice? We can fix this. Both of us. Rakan! Stop! You were always weak, Sahar! You can't even face me alone! Reactor core defense systems have been initialized. I told Hannah not to trust you! Now she will see the truth! I don't care about her, Rakan! Reactor core containment systems damaged. Electronic outflow incidents may occur. You led Hedda off the true path! I didn't even want this! I just wanted to help you! Reactor core containment systems deteriorating. Urgent repairs necessary. Don't do this! We'll all die! I don't care! If that's what it takes to stop you from ruining Hedda's plans! Reactor core containment systems. Meltdown imminent. All hands abandon ship. The fall had killed you. There will be nothing left of you. Why won't you die? There will be 
don't you die! You are not leaving this ship, even if I have to destroy it. We have to move. No! Help me! What are you doing? Chased us down here. We're Out now and go down with the ship not a chance this is going to be close But how long before those Mandalorians track us down again? 
I can't believe the wayward Padawan had it in her to actually strike against the hidden chain. Where is she now? She is of no further use to us, and she cannot be allowed to return to the Republic. Dead, I hope. The ship was destroyed, and she didn't make it out. No great loss. Let us consider that loose end secured. After all, she was nothing more than a means to recovering Darth Null's holocron. Where is it? Right here, of course. Whatever Malgus and Hetacol had planned for this, it's ours now. So much worry and irritation. For that. And now you simply hold it in the palm of your hand. I trust that it will soon find its way home to the Empire. I secured it. I'm keeping it. For now? As for your esteemed guests, I expect you will take them to Korriban. Immediately. They face death either way. Better they attempt the trials for a chance at proper training. An austere assessment, but I am pleased that you agree. I will personally ensure overseers are sent to collect them, along with anyone who can assist your efforts with Null's holocron. I will be in touch. Krovos out. Takaya, I owe you an apology. With the first whisper of betrayal, you said to reign in the clans. I should have listened. But I'll cut you a deal. You don't say I told you so, and I won't either. We needed someone suited to all the practical nonsense of leadership. I told you that wasn't me. If Hedda continues, we lose everything. All of us, the Republic and the Sith, will destroy the Mandoade no matter whose banner they carry. Shielding us from an outside threat, ensuring our future, is something I can do. It's what I will do. person who can tell me how to find her. The reason that Sith Bespatrish ended up in her hands.
said to Jagaya. I hope you understand. <laughs>